Hello Scorpio, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your bonus reading for the second half of November. I don't really have any particular agenda in mind. I am just going to allow the cards to communicate whatever needs to come through here for your bonus reading. You guys came in first as the most viewed video for the second half of the month, so thank you guys so very much and therefore you get your bonus reading first. So these are the three decks that we'll be using. The first is by my soul sister, Angelic Revelation 144. This is the Yin Yang Love Oracle, and then we'll go ahead and grab one from Sister Moon Tarot's deck, the Twin Flame Poetic Confessions, and by Calico Moon, Behind the Moon Oracle, Illusions in Love Revealed. General reading as always, Scorpio, it won't resonate with every single person. So please do keep that in mind and release what doesn't make sense for you. And if you're interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below in the description box. And of course, a link to all of the decks that you see here. So let me set these guys aside. Let's start things off with the Yin Yang Love Oracle deck and see how this goes. All right. So angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio for this bonus reading. Second half of the month, just allowing the cards to communicate really what needs to come through here for whoever needs it and of course cross watchers are welcome as well okay where am i guided here to this one unbridled eroticism oh my gosh okay so first of all the sexual chemistry between you and the person that you're thinking about for this reading it's pretty amazing and intense and passionate and strong Okay, so are you guys going through a challenge? Are you in separation right now? We'll take a look and see. But that is the very first message. And I kind of feel that's just the energy between the two of you. It's almost like the moment you met this person, you guys were just drawn to one another like magnets. Okay, so let's grab your second message here by another amazing, wonderful soul sister, Sister Moon Tarot. And please do spread the love to all of these deck creators. Check out their channels. They're all amazing. Okay, so starting things off here from this card. We have Karmic Partner. Okay, there's another I chose to be with. There's something with them that keeps me bound. Hopefully you're there when I come back around. Okay, so for some of you, maybe your person did detach from the connection and they're now in a karmic partnership and there's something about that connection that needs to play out in however way it needs to and so perhaps you're feeling kind of left out and detached from the person that you're thinking about because obviously they can't be with you when they're investing their time with a karmic partner but i'm also feeling drawn to say that despite all that that they still feel this magnetic pull towards you all right so let's grab your third message here and let's see where else this is gonna go all right so behind the moon oracle what's your third focus guided to this card i feel torn between two worlds i am unsure of my next move you see it makes sense because they are torn, Scorpio, between you and a karmic. And until they figure out which way they need to go or what it is that they need to do to not be so torn, perhaps that's why you're either not hearing from this person or why you guys are kind of stuck in this stalemate type energy and there's not a whole lot going on. That's because they're torn, literally torn between two people. That's what I'm feeling from that. All right, so let's see where this is going to go for you and what else we can uncover when it comes to this connection. So let's grab some insight from the Illumination deck. This is by Lightworker, Tarot, and Oracle. What else do we need to know here? Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Scorpio. For this bonus reading for the second half of November... All right, what else do we need to know when it comes to your connection with your person? Job changes on the horizon. So 
part of the reason perhaps why you guys are either having issues or they're not reaching out to you could be that they're throwing all of their time and energy towards their career for now and they're going through a lot of changes in their life it's interesting too because with this pandemic so many people have lost their jobs you know and so part of the changes i feel for your person might be that maybe they've been unemployed all these months for the rest of this year and all of a sudden maybe they've gotten an offer for employment or whatever these changes are it could be the other way around too where they're unemployed now and they're just going through some challenges but it's something going on when it comes to their career their money matters their livelihood but we do have blessings coming your way okay this could be you as well scorpio if you're going through some challenges in regard to money matters or your job and career but through these changes there are blessings that are coming in so that's a good thing we sure could use it this is one year where every single person on this planet could sure use these blessings we have knowledge okay so maybe you've been learning something new honing your skills in a particular goal or particular career goal that you have wanting to learn something new maybe some of you guys have gone back to school or you just love to read you want to just tap into gaining knowledge for yourself i'm also feeling somebody could really love books or they might even have a library in their home where they're known for having so many books around them we have loyalty if loyalty was challenged during your partnership trust issues perhaps and if your person as it states here they're with a karmic right now they're with somebody else if the loyalty in the partnership was tested because they ended up leaving for a karmic that could be contributing to some of the challenges that are coming through here in your partnership and then we've got sadness and loss it makes sense you know that you would be feeling this sense of loss and grief and sadness during this time of separation from your person because they are with a karmic they're with somebody else they're choosing to invest their time with someone else aside from you and that hurts you and some of you guys too once you guys went into separation you threw all of your time and energy into work and your career that could be presenting itself there. Let's grab a couple more here. What else, please, for Scorpio for this bonus reading? Look at this. This, oh my gosh, look. We've got tons of books right here. And I love this particular card because it literally means read between the lines. There's something about learning something about the connection learning something new that could advance you in your career read between the lines as to the messages perhaps that either your person has sent you or maybe obviously if you're not together right now they're not communicating with you in the 3d world but i have a feeling that some of you guys might be interacting in the fifth dimension and also I kind of feel for those of you who have interacted and who have talked and you have communicated, maybe they're kind of being cryptic with what they're telling you and they're not outright just saying what they have to say. It's like read between the lines of what I'm trying to tell you. And then we've got next year coming through here, which really is not that far away. We're already halfway through, more than halfway through November. And we're heading into December. And then here we are getting ready for January 2021, a brand new year that will hopefully be so much better than what this year has been for so many. So what this might be telling you here, Scorpio, is that next year is when things will be happening between you and the person you're thinking about for this reading right now what's clearly coming through is that they're torn between perhaps their love for you 
and this whole situation with this karmic partner. Look at this. We have fixing what is broken. So maybe they won't be able to fix what's broken between the two of you until next year, which again is right around the corner. And lastly, change is coming. Okay, blessings coming your way. And this card says job changes on the horizon. Change is coming. And I really do feel here, Scorpio, that these are good changes for perhaps yourself as well as for your person and the connection. I feel these changes are needed and they are necessary in order for you guys to get past the challenges of whatever reason you guys are not together at this point in time, you know? So I wanted to grab some additional guidance and I'm looking for that deck. Sorry guys, I should have been more prepared for this. Here it is. Sorry, I've got all of these decks in my drawer. Okay, I wanted to use Mystic Moon's deck, Mystic Moon Oracles. So let's add to this. Let's see where else this is going to go. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio for this bonus reading. What else do we need to know? Change is coming. And I can't help but feel that part of those changes is that maybe your person will free themselves from this karmic situation to be ready to be with you. And maybe they, I can't help but feel through this card, you know, read between the lines that they might have tried to tell you. It's like, I just need to get myself situated or get out of this situation for us to be together. Maybe they've tried to tell you, but they're not just outwardly saying it. So you're being asked to read between the lines here, Scorpio. All right, what else? What are these changes that are coming vibrations okay so i do get this from you guys that even though you're not together that energies are being exchanged still you know fifth dimension you guys might be connecting in that way this makes such sense because there are cycles that need to phase out there are certain cycles that need to complete phase out so that you guys can move forward and open up a new cycle for you guys to have a new beginning to be together and then we've got action makes sense because nothing's going to happen here until your person perhaps Scorpio gets themselves out of a situation where they no longer want to be so yeah they do need to take that first step and then we do have shadow work that's coming through here maybe your person needs to do this shadow work in order to break free from a karmic partner here They've got some healing that they need to do through particular behaviors that they've gotten themselves entangled in, emotional wounding, and maybe that's why they ended up with this karmic partner. Because there's a karmic lesson, perhaps, that's tied into all that. But through this shadow work, they'll be able to break free from that because they will be in a much better place having released whatever hindrances and obstacles that they have put up for themselves but right now you know we do have a crossroads because they still have a lot to figure out so you know it's almost like the connection is se itself is stuck at this crossroads not being able to go any which way because their situation needs to be worked through first. So in the meantime, Scorpio, perhaps you're being directed to just focus on yourself. Maybe, as I'm already kind of picking up for some of you, you're just throwing all of your energies towards work and just being able to build up your nest egg and, and save enough money, get your life back on track financially. But as far as your love life is concerned, I have a feeling because since we do have this next year card coming through here, it might take a few more months for things to unfold. But I really do feel good changes that are presenting itself here. And look at this. We've got fresh start. So you guys do have a new beginning that is coming in. And I love seeing that for you. So that's that's really good. 
that really is okay so let's add to this this is my tarot teacher let's go ahead and grab some messages from here this is a deck i created for beginners especially who are interested in learning how to read tarot and it's got upright reverse meanings and i know i sound repetitive for those of you guys who are already familiar with this but this is more so for those who are not and um, again if you're interested in any of the decks that you see here including the tarot teacher all of the links are down below so scorpio let's continue let's see where else this is going to take you for this bonus reading angels and spirit guides for scorpio what else do we need to know here we have the justice card which is picking up off of libra so maybe some of you your person is a libra this is a card of truth and clarity of fairness it's interesting too because the justice card is tapped into karmic justice so there's something tied into this karmic partnership that your person is in where there has to be a balancing of the scales there they need to be able to figure out what it is that they're wanting there and ultimately i kind of just feel scorpio that there are lessons that your your person needs to learn in order to break free from what might ultimately be a toxic connection that they're in so there again are cycles that needs to phase out especially when it comes to your partner your person and once they're out of that situation that door has been closed especially once they face the truth and the reality of things that they're no longer invested in that connection and that they ultimately want this fresh start with you then that's when you guys can get out of this crossroads vibe and actually start moving towards creating these amazing changes that can happen between the two of you fix what's broken here look at this we've got the world card okay which is very much in tune with this cycles card because that's what it's about it's about cycle completion so it makes sense that this world card is right here this is also a card of fulfillment of accomplishment achievements possibilities a relationship that can come back together and be harmonious and happy and successful and it's again interesting how we have career here because the world card could indicate for some of you a new job better opportunities giving you the opportunity to start over start fresh which we have here i'm not surprised to see the three of swords i do feel scorpio that you ended up getting hurt here because your person ended up leaving the connection and entering into another partnership with somebody else so during this time maybe you've been really lonely missing them very depressed over the separation the three of swords does represent a love triangle you know so third party situations infidelity that was tested that's why we've got this loyalty card right here right next to the sadness and loss card because when the loyalty was tested in this partnership scorpio of course that hurts you it broke your heart and so you went through this grieving process feeling like you really lost a piece of you wow it's interesting too that we have the devil's energy here okay specifically capricorn so for some of you guys maybe your person is a capricorn the devil's energy is bondage addictive behavior depression unhealthy attachments temptations obsession basically an unhealthy relationship which i do feel they are in currently and it's up to them to do this shadow work right here to break free from the bondage of an unhealthy relationship and then we've got the six of cups right here this is your own energy scorpio so what i get from that is you're feeling very nostalgic about this person you can't be with them right now because there are certain cycles that need to phase out as i mentioned but you're remembering the happy memories that you have shared with this individual and this is a card of reunions 
So there's a chance still that you guys can have a reunion between you and your person. Scorpio, it's not impossible. You guys can still come together because this is coming through for a reason. You can have a new beginning. But first, you know, your person's got work to do. And then we've got the Knight of Swords coming through here. So this person is very action oriented, coming through with air energy. So maybe for some of you guys, your person is an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This is somebody who is driven to succeed. And I can't help but feel since we started off with these messages up here that during this time that you guys haven't been together, because again, what's been established here is that they're with someone else. And so this could even be a part of your own energy that you're driven to succeed in other areas of your life because you're just perhaps not wanting to focus on the parts of your life that aren't going well, which might include your love life in separation from somebody that you care for deeply and still love and care for, but they've got certain things that they need to address in their own life. But when they're ready, Scorpio, I do feel that they will take action to come towards you to fix what is broken. But again, it's very clearly indicated here that it might not happen until possibly the early part of next year. So we're just talking about a couple of months here. It's already, again, almost, we're almost done with November. And then you have December. And after that, you're into January. That's officially next year. So it really is not that far away. And then we've got the two of pentacles here with Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn again, and then Taurus. So this is somebody who was juggling, all right? So that's something that maybe you dealt with in this partnership, that your person was juggling you and this karmic partner, entertaining multiple priorities in their life. But this is a card of balancing decisions and better time management, prioritization. And I really do feel here that once they address certain cycles in their life that they know needs to go. They need to close that door. They will be able to make better choices, especially when it comes to the two of you. The two of pentacles could also be tapped into financial stress. Changes, career, job changes. So I can't help but feel that there's somebody here, either yourself, Scorpio, or your person who's been struggling financially this year, especially but with a fresh start and a new beginning and a new year and changes that are coming in, cycles that are phasing out and new cycles coming in, that might be a temporary thing for either of you, whoever's going through that. But clearly scales need to be balanced out. That is what's coming through. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and grab some dialogue messages here. Let's start off with the masculine, the Divine Masculine. So this is the Romantic Confessions from the Divine Masculine deck by Sister Moon Tarot once again. So let's grab some messages here. Focusing on the masculine and where this masculine is at. Okay. Angels and Spirit Guides for Scorpio for this bonus reading. Focusing on the Divine Masculine. What is it that they want to confess to you right now? I never got over you. And that's why they're torn between two worlds right now. You know, because yeah, okay, they're, they might be in another situation. But there's a part of their heart that's still with you. The next message, I want to talk to you, but I can't find the right words to say. So they're struggling a little bit with that, trying to just formulate their words and what it is that they want to express to you at this time, my feminines. I miss laying in bed with you, okay? They miss being with you, those intimate moments that you guys have shared, your presence. Next card, I'm mesmerized by your aura. 
Oh my god, bottom of the deck. I regret not choosing you. They did not choose wisely. And they regret it. They regret it big time. So let's grab some messages on behalf of the Divine Feminine now. This is the Soul Whispers deck by Bridget Rao of Divine Essentials. So my feminines, your masculine, clearly letting you know they never got over you. They miss you. They're still mesmerized by you. They've got some major regrets here. They want so badly to talk to you, but they just don't know how. Not right now. So my feminines, what is it that you want to say to your masculine here? For Scorpio, for the Divine Feminine, what do you want to say to your masculine? Oh my gosh, okay. I know you are my twin flame. So my feminines, that's a very matter-of-fact statement. You know, it's not, I think you are my twin flame. It says, I know. I know you are my twin flame. But if they're with a karmic then that's a cycle that needs to complete. So let them complete it. In the meantime, focus on yourself. I've been reminiscing. I'm not surprised. We've got the Six of Cups, which is all about reminiscing and feeling nostalgic. What else, please, for Scorpio, for the Divine Feminine? I'm so afraid I will lose you to someone. Yeah, I get it. Because this was a part of the fear. I kind of feel this is already past energies that you were afraid that you were going to lose your masculine to somebody and then it ended up being a reality for some of you guys. And then this next message, I, you must be my soulmate. So we have, I know you are my twin flame, and then this card here. So my feminines, whether you resonate more with a twin flame connection or a soulmate connection, doesn't matter. They're both represented here. And then we have, I watch over you. So maybe my feminines, you're keeping tabs on your masculine somehow. Maybe more than likely on social media, if that applies. Or that... If, the, if you're not doing that, then you're just watching over, perhaps, energetically and vibrationally, your masculine from a distance and just putting out positive thoughts out there towards your masculine, perhaps, if you're not actually checking them out on social media. So that's what's coming through from that. All right, so let's add to this with some Journey of Love with Bridget's Decks, Volume 1 and 2. Okay, so Divine Essentials once again. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Scorpio for this bonus reading. What else do we need to know here? What else do we need to know? Seduction, number 26. I wanted you the moment I saw you. So they're still so attracted to you. Absolutely. You've made me feel alive. Thank you. Joy. And if any of these numbers are significant to you, it's coming through here. I swear it's true. The truth. You know, I feel with loyalty being tested, as I mentioned earlier, that it was very difficult maybe for your person to come forward with the truth of really what was going on in their heart space. But I feel possibly early part of next year, you will find out the truth of what's really in their heart. We've got synchronicities reminded of you constantly. Number 37 adds up to a 10, which could be completion here. And we've already got, you know, the world card represented right there, cycle completion. We've got secluded. I'm tired of being without you. 22. We have another 10 here. I know we can do it. Wholeness. They're embarrassed also. I feel like I've screwed up too much. Okay, so they do recognize that. 
that they know that they messed up and maybe that's why you haven't heard from them because they're embarrassed to reach out. But boy, do they want to. They want to. You know, maybe that's why they're coming through with some cryptic message if they have sent you anything. You know, read between the lines. And if they haven't, it could be through this type of interaction, through their vibrations and energies that they're sending you telepathically. Read between the lines. And lastly, look at this. We've got 32 secrets. The truth is I love you. There we go. There's the truth. That's the real truth of what's in their heart. I swear it's true. The truth is I love you, but it's coming through as a secret here. So for now, they're not telling you this because either they're afraid to, they're not ready, or they know that their karmic would freak out if they ended up doing that for whatever reason, you know, but the reality of it is here, Scorpio. And the truth is, the truth comes out that they love you. Bottom of the deck, look at this. Number six is faded. Okay, so I'm sure this was all meant to be. You guys are meant to be still. Oh my God, the next card. I can't believe this, Twin Flame. <laughs> So for those of you who really do feel you are in a twin flame connection, despite the separation, it does say you are my other half. Okay, so that's coming through here, the twin flame connection for some of you guys. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, guys, so let's wrap things up here with one final deck. And I'm guided to pull from, I am guided to pull from, I don't know. Let's grab some healing messages here. Because I kind of feel that healing is needed here for this situation. This hasn't been easy, especially since it's coming through that your person could be with somebody else at this point in time. But boy, the desire, the love that they feel for you, it's still here. So yeah, just allow one door to close, which they're going to have to close it for themselves. You can't help them with that. And they need to open up a brand new cycle and brand new door to come back into your life. And that might ultimately not be until early part of next year. So I'm thinking around January-ish, springtime perhaps. All right, so angels and spirit guides, please, for this bonus reading for Scorpio, some final healing messages, please. Some final thoughts and healing messages from your angels. We have forgiveness. And if you're familiar with my readings, you'll know whenever I see a forgiveness card, I'll always say it's a gift that you offer yourself. Because... If you can't be in a space of forgiveness for someone for whatever they did, and I get that, yes, it's very painful, very hurtful, but if you're holding on to all of that baggage from the past of whatever happened, you will forever be carrying on to that, and your burdens that you've been holding on to will just get heavier and heavier and heavier until you're down to your knees to where you can't lift it and you can't carry it anymore. So... Not to say that you're forgiving the person and what they've done and that, you know, everything is all peachy keen and sunshine and rainbows. It's putting you more so in a place where you can be at peace in your own heart with how things played out. And it's up to your person to be able to find forgiveness for their own faults, for their own actions, you know, because nobody's perfect. And this needs to happen here. That's what's going to bring you healing, I feel, Scorpio. And your person, they need to be able to do that for themselves as well. So that the heaviness of what either of you are carrying can be put down. So that you guys can move forward. Free and clear without all of the past baggage. Manifestation. I love it. So this is a connection that can still manifest in the 3D world. You guys can still come together. For now, what's coming through is that your person is torn between two worlds, between you and somebody else. So let them figure it out. That's 
you know, there's nothing here for you to do. And you can certainly manifest other things in your life. If you've been struggling financially, you can manifest that. If you've been looking for a job, you can manifest that. If you have been having some health issues, you can manifest good health. Your angel guides, your spirit guides, they're here watching out for you. And you've got blessings coming in. Scorpio, I love it. Manifestation of blessings in every area of your life and however way you need these blessings to come in. It's beautiful, okay? So I feel blessings can certainly touch the connection that you're focused on for this reading, but blessings can come through in the form of finances, good health, friendships, family, and just all of the amazing blessings that come into your life on a daily basis. Okay, so don't be afraid to be grateful for all of the little things as well as the big things but this is what's coming in okay so it looks pretty promising to me scorpio as far as you and your person still being able to work this out and come back together you got a fresh start right here and you've got manifestation of blessings that are coming in and that's actually the second time that that's presenting itself blessings coming your way and then you've got this card coming through so so many blessings scorpio coming in just wait for it it's on its way to you all right so that's where i'm going to leave this one guys if you are again interested in your own personal private reading that info is down below so that's it for your bonus reading i do hope you enjoyed whatever part of this resonated with you and i'll see you next time take care guys